Welcome back to the channel, guys. We're playing the Hunter Call of the Wild, and I'm Lady Legend. Today we're back in Quatros, pretty much hunting for any species that I can find a monster in. <laughs> That's the goal. If you do enjoy the video, please be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and join us for more videos. Alrighty, let's get to hunting. And we have just found a really beautiful mythical red deer. Pretty nice rack on it. We're gonna pop him with the M1. Definitely got a vital on him. I like to follow them when they're running off, especially with red deer, for the simple reason that I love to see their antlers topple over. <laughs> but uh, it also makes finding them easier because then you can just mark where they are on the map and you don't have to track their blood splatter. And he is a gold. He has a trophy rating of 231.3. He weighs 224.86 kilograms. He's a pretty decent one. When you look at him from above, he looks kind of ugly and spindly, but when he's standing on the shore there, he looked pretty majestic to me. It looked awesome. So that was a pretty nice rack. And that is where we found him. And now we are down here, checking out the red deer. Just a level six. Little roe deer. And I'm trying to stay on the down low. I know there is a big red deer in here because I picked up a max, there it is, a max weight red deer track. There it is there. So I know there's a big red deer in here and I just don't want to spook it. Ooh, that's it. What is it? It's a mythical. That's cool, that's all right, we'll take him. Okay, so he is giving us a warning call. He knows that we're here or that something is up. So I am gonna take my sweet time here. If you look in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice that as I'm creeping up to him in my prone position, I am doing it even slower than normal and I am almost making no noise. He is attentive and back to nervous, yeah. You really gotta pay attention to how they're feeling to gauge when they might spook. He's attentive, so we're still okay. And now he's calm, so now he is not worried about us. That is good. Just wanna get a little tiny bit closer. I don't know if you saw that beautiful level seven that's just in the background. I probably could take both of them with the M1, possibly, but I really wanna shoot this guy with the bow. So that's what we're gonna do. And again, I'm using the CB65. And the reason that I use this bow is simply because I really enjoy the rangefinder on it. I am gonna use some different bows. I'm probably gonna take the crossbow out next. That is an awesome bow. And I am lucky to get that shot. I almost messed that up. It was a little on the high side, but we still managed. Even though we got thoracic vertebrae, we still got right long. And he is a gold. Trophy rating of 213.3. And this is where we found him. This can be a really good lake. I have shot a diamond red deer off of there, a diamond wolf off of there recently. Can be a really pretty awesome lake. It's definitely a spot that I check. And scouting out everything around the lake here, just seeing what's around. I shot a diamond red deer off of this lake recently as well. And when you see animals fleeing, you know you have wolves. And when you have wolves, you need to spot every single one of them, just in case there might be a nine. And so they are stalking when you have wolves on your lake, and you will a lot in Quatros. They will spook everything out in their path, and you will have nothing to hunt but wolves. And there it is! Oh yeah! There's a legendary! Yes, that's sweet. Okay. All right. Now, I really need to shoot this guy before they bolt. The front of him is sticking out a little bit. Should be enough to get a shot off on him. Let's do it. I don't know if I got him. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, yeah, looks good. All right. 
That's awesome. Have a couple of them trotting away, fleeing. Might try and take a shot on that guy. I mean, shooting fleeing animals is definitely not a perfect science. All you can do is try. Try and lead your shot, especially if they are running. It's not the shot I would take on a trophy animal, definitely not. You know, it depends on the situation, but I try not to. And here is our legendary, and he is a diamond. That is sweet. He is 39 right on the money. That is the exact trophy rating for diamond. So if it were the old scoring system, he would probably be around 950. So he just made it. And we got a pretty sweet shot in there. That's awesome. And this guy is a gray. Did not manage a vital on him. But that's okay. He wasn't that important anyway. <laughs> and this is where we found him. That's the middle right lake. And that can be a really great spot as well. And I'm still on that lake here. All that we have here are wolves left because they've spooked everything off the lake. Just a level six, maybe I should shoot him. Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's that? A mythical. Oh, maybe we should shoot him instead. Definitely. Now I'm gonna take a trotting shot on him. And yep, we got a vital. That's that's awesome. That was good. And that's it for that wolf. That's a couple of really big wolves on this lake. A mythical and a legendary. And he has a trophy of 38.4, which is 0.6 under diamond. So he's a pretty good size. It even looks like I shot a little bit too much forward. I guess he wasn't trotting that fast, but still is good. So we'll take it. And now we're heading down to another lake. I do do a lot of running, but when I get close to the lakes, I do start to slow down. And I'm always spotting, trying not to spook anything before I can get eyes on it. And we have Mouflon. Let's see if there's anything good here. We have a level four, and that is probably the big boy of this group. And now he must die. <laughs> and we have Iberian Mouflon and Roe Deer drink at the same time from six to nine, and Red Deer drink from five to nine. So you have all three species drinking on the lake at the same time. So, between 6 and 9 a.m. is a great time to hunt in Quatros. And that's the end of that Mouflon. He's a gold. 155.8. I actually haven't shot a diamond Mouflon in quite some time. A couple months. <laughs> okay, scratch that. I just found a level 5 Mouflon. I mean, it's not a guaranteed diamond, but that is pretty awesome. <laughs> and ironic. All right, he is way over there on the other side of the lake, and he is not giving me a broadside shot. Thinking about shooting him from here, but I'm not super comfortable. Hmm. I don't like to take risky shots on potential diamonds. So, this is the lake that we're at. Just checking the zone there. When you find an animal that you would like to harvest and it is in its zone, it's always smart to check zone times to see how much time that they have left in their zone. And that way you know if you only have five minutes till they leave, you better get a shot off or change the time. And we are just gonna move ourselves since we can't move that mouflon. There are no collars for mouflon. So now I have a bit of an angled shot and I'm a lot more comfortable with that. I mean, I'm fine taking a front-on shot. I just don't like the way their head bobs down and up. I prefer this shot, so... This shot we will take. Yes, we got him. Yeah. That is crazy. 
crazy awesome. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ah, yes, that is sweet. He is a diamond. He has a trophy of 181.3 and he weighs 59.74 kilograms. Wow, he is huge. 60 kilograms is max weight for Mouflon. And that is an awesome way to wrap up our hunt for today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and join us for more videos. Until next time, you take care.